Dogs and Doll family. Some of you might have seen on Instagram what I got for Christmas. An adult doll collector. What did she get for Christmas? Not much this year, but some big things in my eyes. Let me show you. Hey, first I gotta count, uh, let you know my tree is <laughs> really skinny now because uh, it's about all we can fit in here. But I absolutely love it. It's given us the Christmas spirit. And, you know, this is just some of the sacrifices you have to make when you want cabinets in your living room for your dolls and stuff. Two new ornaments this year. And we just kept it simple and put, like, one ornament of everything we had, kind of. <laughs> just thought I'd share that. Let me get the little one out of the way first because, um, just because. This was, um, this is a Ken outfit that I liked. I mean, sweatpants are in, right? And those sneakers are cool. Just something small I liked. And uh, also, Uncle Sam, those who know about our camper, is an Americana kind of thing. So I don't know why, but I felt that this would um, look good in the camper. It actually wasn't for me. This one was addressed in, to uh, Trent, the trailer. So that's kind of funny. I don't know why I'm claiming that as my own. I think I want to jump to this one first. God, these feel a little dusty already. So it's the worst spot. The door outside is right there. So everything seems dusty fast. It is time for me to take my tree down. It's currently like January 12th or something. <laughs> so probably should get this, get this done. Yeah, that's where the dust came from. Anyway, let me, I'm too excited. I can't even uh, tell you. Um, you all know that I really, really, really wanted this Jap Japan um, Dolls of the World Ken. I'm to the tail end of catching all the things I've really wanted for so long. And he was a big one. He has been here for quite a few months. We found a good price for him. And um, I ordered him early, but have not, like, like in the past, I have not looked at him until um, it was that day. Let me know if there's any of these things you want me to go over with you in a video. I don't even know if that's a thing anymore. Do people even do that anymore? <laughs> I'm not sure. But I'd love to share. Um, yeah, I would. Especially him. So he's handsome. He has a slight eye wonk. I don't know if you can see it. That might have been why he was a little less. I got looking on the hashtags for him and pictures for him. And he does have a little eye wonk in general but i think mine is just a little bit more than usual his body from what i hear is not articulated so i did get a um oh mary poppins guy to um they, they went on sale for 10 bucks i got one of those bodies which i think matches this pretty good so big present of the year small but you know he he was a little stupidly priced i won't even deny it um, this girl, this is what I didn't show on Instagram. I only showed that in the two poly pockets. I was seriously so delighted to take this picture, even though I looked like absolute just woke up crap. Um, I got gift cards from family. Thank you, family. And I definitely want the green girls. And although I tried to get Venus, she was my first choice because of her articulated, um, better articulated body. She's got a couple... She's not full made to move, but she's got some made to move joints. This is more old fashioned -y style, like the cat this is her knees. If anybody knows what that means, those those knees are not so pretty as even the fashionista knees. So I did want to get Vina, but um, I lost obviously in what the amount of money I had to spend, but um, maybe for my birthday. So she was more reasonable and right up into the budget for the Christmas gift cards from Amazon. So I ended up doing that. She's beautiful. I can't wait to open her. Um, next, what can I show you? Okay, Polly Pockets. I really like Polly Pockets. Pockets, you know, and haven't spent a lot of time um, getting them or finishing the Polly Pocket Castle. Yes, let's smack me now. But I still like them. And there's been some ones I've wanted. So this was one, I don't love them all nor desire all of them. Just the ones that look more like a dollhouse as I am a doll and dollhouse enthusiast and hobbyist. <laughs> I wonder if the algorithm is paying attention to my words. Probably not. I just thought I'd be a smarty pants right there. So this looks like a, a proper little dollhouse. That's why I like it. 
Some of the other ones are so pretty, but I'm just not into them or they don't have meaning. I don't desire them, whatever. This one was mint with the proper little persons. I think it's called the cottage. It's a little cottage. I love that it has a bathroom. That particularly makes me like it a whole lot. Pink heart, cute. Now this one I really liked. This is a beach, beach house. Very cute. I think the outer color stays the same, but there's some with different colored insides. If I remember correctly looking, and I did like this one because this one was brighter. This is correct. Um, of course, I did choose this and find this, found this. And let me tell you, pretty good price for this one. Like 10 bucks, I think. Because I think it was a fluke and it was missing the second person, which I think is a little boy. It's got the girl, the proper girl here. But I bought this separately. Fought, but bought, found, whatever you want to say. Purchased it to throw in here um, for my Christmas present. As you know, me and Alex mostly just get each other the things we want or get it for ourselves and then direct it towards each other. Whatever way I'm trying to say that. But I really like this. This is a little me, I say. Because... She's a hiking girl and looking for adventure and um, got her binoculars out and her little backpack and her hat. So not really me, but I thought that was funny. I liked her. And I think this one came in a little campfire pit locket maybe or a ring. And I don't like that. I don't want that. But I wanted her, so I was able to find her reasonably separate. So that's that fun thing. Again, these came in. And uh, Alex looked at them, made sure I could review them well, and um, give them, you know, five stars and stuff. But I didn't uh, see them until that day, which was very exciting. Of course, these came camping with me. That did not. And then lastly, this is more of a present to self. You all know I'm not a big WWE fan per se. I like some. I like some of the faces. And um, I don't I've... Not kept many on their own. I get rid of some of the bodies. I keep the shoes. I like the outfits. I like the color. Whatever. But this particular set I liked. And it was online for sale. But not from your usual toy company. Um, and then it went away. And I missed it. And I thought, I don't know. They must be just getting rid of these. Because I haven't seen this anywhere else. Like a mainstream store. For sale. But anyway, lo and behold. Right before we went on our camp for Christmas. Um... Boom, it was available again. I didn't even hesitate. I just hit the button and got it. So I was worried, as other people were, that it wasn't a quality, proper product. But it is. Um, still confused by it all. Still can't tell you a lot. I'd be willing to show this as I open it for those who are interested. Now, why did I particularly like it the most? A few reasons, which was nowhere near as expensive as the first one. Her. I like her. She's one of the first I've seen that I like as a whole. I like her boots are more healed. I like her outfit. She's kind of rock star. She suits that body, and I like her face and her mold and her expression and everything. Um, I don't know. It looks like some of the others, but somehow looks different. Maybe it's the dark hair with the blue eyes. I think I'm going to keep her as is. This one, I wanted Bailey too. Now, Bailey, I liked her face and was probably going to rebody her, her first version. But that thing never went on sale, ever. <laughs> it was $20 on its own. And then when I seen this, I was like, oh, well, why not purchase this and get her? Because I really want the face more than anything. Um, she's got such a sporty, like, sporty spice kind of look. But a little bit, like, better. I don't want to say better than that, but the sporty spice doll was kind of weird looking this one reminds me of that but better made so that's why i like it, it has nothing to do with who the characters are because i don't follow that and uh, i also liked her outfit those who know me know i like peacocks so that's attractive and um her stuff's attractive those shoes being short boots are attractive and uh this girl i've not been a fan of her with pink hair but i kind of like the purple hair and I think her face mold in this one, or the expression on this particular one, looks better than the other one. I didn't like the other one. Um, she looks more duck face. So that's that's my gifts for this year. I got my usual chapstick and uh, a candy of some sort that's in um, 
a uh, uh, little stocking, but we didn't do stockings that, this year. Just put it on the side. A few things for camping, which I didn't show. They're just not, well, they're already put away. Then there's that back there, which is really funny because, see, this ain't kid related. I should just stop saying that because who cares? We all know they'll do what they do and I'm still going to be here. That right there, and then there was two. We bought that gift, which is this for two people we know because it was vodka simple, but more so because of this um, thing to put coffee in. And uh, we like having a coffee on hikes. I've gotten back into it a little bit. Thank you, Catalina Dances. It was nice talking to you about it today and uh, having to let you go so I could hike today. But I liked this a whole lot, but through all the shopping season, I couldn't break down and buy one just for us for the price because I didn't really need the vodka, but I wanted this, <laughs> the thermos, the campy looking thermos. Lo and behold, one of our neighbors brought over a present and said, look, I got this for you because you guys like camping. And I just started laughing because they sure hit the head on the nail there. You gotta love these packs. They come with good stuff for the adults. And uh, here, let me show you a few camping pictures. Cause it was fun. Our second year doing this, we hope to do it more. This was before the cold front and rain happened. We definitely took advantage of it as much as we could. Setting up was fun. We definitely had fun with it this year and did lots of lights. It did get cooler, but um, hey, camping in the winter. Not bad. Here was Alex when we got a ton of rain. We had to stay inside a lot. All right, so here we are at Christmas and fixing the table. Whoa. Yeah. And there's Grace. Hi. She made or warmed the mashed potatoes. Cauliflower mashed. Now she's opening up basically oh, some. Good job. Some sugar no, cider. Don't like that. do that with your sick teeth. She has an infection. And now she's going to get all of us sick by what she just did. I sneezed on her guy's <laughs> pillow. <just laughs> There's Steve. He was probably just taking a leak. He was. Okay, everybody can start bringing this food. Yeah. You got those ready to go? Sure do. Booyah. Slaughtered the hog myself. Okay. Woohoo! Like you get more. I did that. Oh, actually, I got more pate for the dog. Here, oh. Wave. I wasn't videoing. Should I give the dog hey, more? Hi, Vinny. Should I give the dog more? Sure. Let's eat. She can wait until we're done. Fire. Hey. Lots and lots of food. Woohoo! Here is just a couple pictures that were my favorites taken the whole six days we were there. Um, you can look at them and enjoy for yourself. Um, it's just part of our Christmas story. Again, second year. We hope to do it more and make it a thing. Um, this one and the next one are my all-time favorite for obvious reasons. He <laughs> camping Christmas time. Hope you've enjoyed this little showing. This little showing became quite a bit more time than I intended. Oh well. Happy New Year, everybody. Let's hope 2020 is a good one for us. See you. Whatever. Mm -hmm.